the horses before and it's been a while since I've explained how I got them um, about 15 years ago there was a mare being transported in a piece of crap trailer uh, down the highway uh, and her foot went through the bottom of the trailer through the floorboard well she was being basically drug along the highway uh, for about 20 minutes until they could get the guy to stop. When he finally did stop, um, her leg had been shredded down to the cannon bone. Um, so the state police called a veterinarian to come and put the horse down. Well, for whatever reason, the, uh, the veterinarian seemed to connect with this horse in particular and she wanted to try and save it. So they got it back to the rescue and uh, got her cleaned up a little bit. But um, the amount of pain she was in, you know, pretty much had to keep her pumped up with pain meds and antibiotics and things like that. Well, after about two weeks, uh, we realized she was pregnant. Um, you know, we kind of figured that because of all the medications that we were pumping into her, that she'd wind up aborting the foal um, or it would wind up deformed or, you know, come out with two heads or three eyes or you know, something like that. You know, as much drugs as we were pumping into her, you know, you knew something bad was gonna happen. But in the meantime, we still had a horse to save. So we did what we could for her. Um, and she actually carried that full, full term. Um, in the middle of the night, during a hurricane, it was Hurricane Hugo. Uh, she wound up giving birth to that foal. Um, and amazingly, the foal wasn't dead. Uh, it wasn't deformed. Uh, it didn't have three eyes and two heads or anything like that. And we just couldn't believe it. Uh, Ripley over there is that foal and we just couldn't believe that he had survived uh, first off and we couldn't believe that he came out as perfect as he was um, you know be it God's will or you know, whatever, um, you know, but he lived and he, like I said, he was perfect. Uh, and it was one of those things that you just couldn't believe. Um, you know, it was one of those believe it or not moments, uh, which is how he got the name Ripley, believe it or not. 